Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. It's of course your girl Moya. And in today's video, we are going to be jumping into our moving out binder and we're going to be stuffing $300 towards our move out. If you're interested, just keep on watching. positive quote is focus on yourself you've done enough for others my girlfriend always tells me this she always I think she's crazy honestly <laughs> I think all my friends are crazy but let's just say she's the craziest she is um, she's older than me she could be my mom but I do like to keep old company because I feel like I learn a lot it's a lot of wisdom they have a lot to share they've been through a lot of things so they always share stuff with me that makes me wiser so she told me she always says this. she says in this world they are there are two types of people there are the users and then there are the uses that's exactly what she says and she's like the users will use you and use you and use you and use you for whatever they want and then the uz's are the people that are getting used she says there's literally only two those two types of people <laughs> in this world i told you guys she was crazy but at a, at a certain point it do make sense see how this says focus on yourself you've done enough for others i know people who are such users and I know people who are such uses. I literally see this in my day-to-day -day life. I see this all the time. So it kind of makes sense. It sounds crazy, but I get what she's saying. So I want you guys to just take this away from this video today. I want you to focus on yourself. Sometimes we put people uh, like over us too much, especially our family like we feel like because they're our family we have to do this and we have to do that you're not obligated to no one i'm not saying not to help your family and not to do things for your family it's not what i'm saying i'm just saying there are users and there are uses so you is a good chance that you're being used because of your good heart before I jump into the stuffing of my moving out binder, I wanted to let you guys know a little update on $20 Friday. It's been a while since I've stuffed $20 Friday on my channel, but I wanted to share with you guys that every single Friday I have been stuffing this thing, me and my boyfriend. As y'all can see, it's getting packed. So we have been doing the challenge, it's just that sometimes when we're doing it on Fridays, I'm not filming, you know, or I'll filming, film it on my, like as a short video and post it on my Instagram. But $20 Friday is being stuffed. I just wanted to come and say that. I've already stuffed it for the Friday that passed. So that's why I'm here telling you guys that just in case you guys are wondering. But you guys see this? It's getting so packed. I'm so proud. I can't wait to unstuff it. I cannot wait. So we're jumping into the moving out binder. Of course, y'all know it's beautiful. I know it's beautiful. Yes, girl. So let's get into it. I don't have no long story for y'all today. I'm just going to get into the stuffing and keep it moving. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right so lease ends in august we haven't started to look as yet but we're going to start looking soon if you guys are not in florida florida's prices are absolutely ridiculous let me just say that for homes so i'm just crossing my fingers and hoping that when the time comes for us to find somewhere we're able to find somewhere nice and comfy and spacious and exactly what we're looking for for a very good price so we're heading into the moving costs 
envelope and instead of moving cost we're going to add a hundred dollars so let's put a hundred dollars in here we have 20 40 60 80 100 here's our 100 dollars and when we add a hundred dollars to moving costs we have one two two fifty one two three four five we have three hundred and fifty dollars inside of moving in cost now i wanted to say that some of my completed saving challenges are going to be going in towards moving costs as well so if you guys don't be alarmed, don't be worried because you see $300 in here. Don't think that I'm thinking that I'm going to get somewhere for $300, okay? <laughs> okay. Whenever I complete some of my challenges, I'm going to be putting that money towards moving costs. So I'm not too worried about it. Inside of furniture, we're going to be adding $100 as well. I do know that we want to get a new couch and we also want to get a bed. Me personally, I don't really spend big bucks on furniture because I'm renting. But once I'm buying, then you know that's different. But if I'm renting, why do I need to ball out on furniture for? Like for it to get scratched, scraped up and damaged? No. So we have 40, 60, 80, 100. So when we add $100 into furniture, we're now looking at $150. Couch and a bed. That's all we need that's new for furniture. Everything else is good. <laughs> I might change the bed, I might not. I might try to get like a cleaners. Cause what happened with the bed was, I bought this bed, we moved close to like COVID time and a lot of things were on back order. So when I saw this bed, I really wanted to get like the dark gray version of it, but they didn't have dark gray in stock. They only had the cream color, like almost like white. <sighs> I know it sounds crazy but we did go with the white because that's the only bed I liked in city furniture at the time I was working there by the way so you know we're using the little discount that was the only one that was in stock because of the back order so that's how we ended up getting a light color bed which was a huge mistake because it's so easy to get dirty so I haven't decided if we're gonna buy a new bed yet or not but I just want to put up some money just in case we want to get it because it might be paying for a cleaners to clean that bed okay because ain't nothing wrong with it it's just dirty and has stains on it that cannot be removed i've tried trust me so i might get a cleaners to you know they have more chemicals and stuff to take those type of stuff out like that that's their thing 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 so i might get them to do that or we'll get a new bed next we have home decor I know I'm going to be balling out on home decor for a fact because I want to change my utensils. I want to get new curtains, sheets, bath towels, paintings, vases, roses, flowers, etc. So I know I'm going to need a good amount inside of home decor because I know, I know, I know, I know myself. So inside of home decor today, we're adding 75. This is 20, 40, 60, 70, and then we have five. And by adding 75, we now have 20, 40, 60, 80, $105 inside of home decor. How much do you guys think we could get to by August? Let me know. We have boxes, instead of boxes, we're just adding $5. You know, boxes is literally like the least. Like, we don't need big bucks for that. I'm adding $5 to boxes, make it $10. Probably I feel $80, $60 will be good enough for boxes. So that's why I'm not really pushing too hard. <laughs> for moving truck, of course we're just going to rent a U-Haul or something and we're adding $20 today. I'm not sure how much it is. I I might want to go check 
just to make sure that I'm putting up, you know, a good amount. So when we add twenty dollars, we have forty-five. And guys, bear in mind, I'm not doing this all by myself. It's my boyfriend and I. So <laughs> when you see me doing what I'm doing, it's for a reason. It's because I know, like, either my boyfriend's just gonna pay for it fully, you know. But I just want to have that money just in case he needs help. You know what I mean? So that's basically it. For I'm so in love with my Kylie binders. If you guys haven't grabbed yours as yet, I don't know what you're waiting for. For real, for real. Like, I don't know. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. Always a pleasure coming on here. And I will see you guys in the next one. Mwah. Love you. Bye.